Para sa mga SSS members na may past due loan sa SSS, ito na yung chance nyo para ma-settle or mabayaran ang inyong existing loan with the help of SSS Loan Restructuring Program or yung tinatawag din nila na SSS Condonation or SSS LRP. Kasama sa mga loans na pwedeng mag-avail ng SSS Loan Restructuring Program ay ang Calamity Loan, SLERP, Salary Loan, Emergency Loan at iba pa na nandito sa list. So, hindi lang to para sa mga nag-avail ng Calamity Loan before. So, ang main goal talaga ng SSS Loan Restructuring Program ay para matulungan yung mga SSS members na naapektuhan ng mga kalamitan, yung mga kalamities na dumating sa ating bansa in the past few years at nahirapan silang magbayad ng kanilang mga loans dahil syempre kailangan nilang unahin yung mga um, necessities nila o yung pagpaparenovate ng house so naset aside yung pagbabayad ng SSS loans nila. With SSS Loan Restructuring Program, ang gagawin ng SSS ay i-re-recompute yung inyong SSS salary loan plus yung interest at plus yung penalties. So, after ma-recompute, ibabawas nila yung penalties. So, bali, ang babayaran na lang is yung capital amount at yung interest. Later, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung example computation. So, sino nga ba ang eligible or pwedeng mag-avail ng SSS Loan Restructuring Program? So, yung mga members na nakatira or tumira at nagtrabaho sa mga areas na na-declare as under the state of calamity during these calamities ay pwedeng mag-avail. So, kasama na dito yung Undoy, Sendong, Spittering, and yung iba pa. So, dito papakita ko yung mga affected areas talaga. So, for example, for Undoy, uh, mayroon ditong autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. So, nandiyan ang Basilan, Lanao del Sur, Maguindanao, Sulu, Tawitawi. So, marami. So, sa mga nagtatanong, lalo-lalo na yung mga taga Metro Manila kung pwede silang mag-avail dahil hindi naman sila naapektuhan. Based po dito sa listahan na galing sa SSS mismo, ang National Capital Region, which includes Metro Manila, ay naging under ng state of calamity yata or national disaster during the time ng Untoy ng 2009. So, makikita nyo dito yung National Capital Region. So, kung nandito kayo sa NCR nung mga panahong yun, o nagtatrabaho kayo dito, ay pwede kayong mag-avail ng SSS Loan Restructuring Program kung meron kayong past due loans or matagal nang hindi na nababayaran na loan. So, marami pa dito, like yung Sentong noong 2011, yung Pedring and Kiel noong 2012, yung Pablo 2012, Long Labuyo ay noong 2013, yung Maring 2013, Santi 2013, um, Armed Conflict in Zamboanga City 2013. So, hindi lahat ito ay related sa Baguio. So, meron din itong, ito like this one, Conflict in Zamboanga City. At meron din yung 7.2 Magnitude Earthquake in 2013. Yung Yolanda noong 2013 sa Visayas. Um, yung Agaton in 2013. Glenda 2014, Mario 2014, Ruby or Hagupit nung 2014, Senyang nung 2015, yung Lando nung 2015, at Nona nung 2015. So, nandito lahat yung areas, yung mismong mga lugar na affected ng mga bagyo or ng mga calamities na to. Don't worry kasi sa description box below, isi-share ko yung link kung saan nyo ito makukuha or mababasa kasi baka mahirapan kayong isa-isahin yung nasa listahan so basahin nyo na lang yung description box below at i-click nyo yung link para mabasa nyo yung complete talaga at mag-check nyo kung kasali yung area nyo so if the member borrower used to live in a calamity stricken area but has already moved or transferred to another place or halimbawa lumipat na kayo pero dati kayong nandun sa area na yun Pwede pa rin kayong mag-apply. Kailangan nyo lang mag-submit ng affidavit of residency which you can download through the link or from the SSS website. So, yung mga OFWs naman, pwede rin kayong mag-submit ng affidavit of residency for foreign office. So, lahat ng details na yan makikita nyo sa description box. So, how to apply for SSS Loan Restructuring Program or SSS Condonation? Actually, na-explain ko na to sa kabilang video at bibigyan ko rin kayo ng link para mapanood nyo yan. Pero basically, kailangan nyo lang i-prepare yung SSS LRP application form na pwede nyo ma-download from the SSS website. Pwede nyo rin tong makuha pang nagpunta kayo ng SSS branch. And kailangan nyo ring 
i-accomplish ang affidavit of residency. So, i-download nyo lang din to online or hingi kayo ng copy sa mismong SSS branch at ipanotaryo nyo po to. Marami pong mga notary um, services sa uh, tabi-tabi. And after that, punta na kayo ng SSS branch, ipasa nyo po yung SSS LRP application form and yung affidavit of residency at kung kailangan ng IDs, ipasa nyo rin po. Kung hindi naman kayo available, ay pwede nyo yung ipapasa to sa isang representative, i-authorize nyo lang, and then ipasa nyo yung original copy of Special Power of Attorney or SPA, photocopy ng two valid IDs, each of you, as the member borrower and the filer or yung representative nyo. And at least one of these valid IDs with photo and uh, both with signature. So here's a sample computation kasi sinamahan ko yung mother-in-law ko last August 2016 kasi meron siyang existing loan. So she availed or nag-loan siya in, 20, in 2005, so June 7, 2005. At yung principal loan amount was 18,485 pesos during that time. So again, ito ay noong June 7, 2005. So nung ipare-compute namin, nung mag-apply kami ng SSS Loan Restructuring Program noong August nitong year lang, ang naging interest niya was 17,499 pesos. At ang naging penalty ay 31,543 Pesos. So, ang total loan balance niya as of August, so that's 11 years after niyang mag-loan, ay naging 67,528 pesos na. Sobrang laki. So, kung titingnan niyo from 18,000, naging 67,000. So, ilang patong yun. Sobrang dami. So, ang tatanggalin ng SSS dito, based doon sa naging computation nila, was the penalty. So, ang babayaran niya na lang was the 18,000, yung principal loan amount, at yung interest na 17,000. So, almost, almost 50%, 40 to 50% din, yung nabawas because of the SSS loan restructuring program. So, malaking malaking tulong po ito. Kaya kung meron kayong mga existing loans or yung mga past due loans, as in matagal nyo na pong hindi na babayaran, punta na po kayo sa SSS branch at magpare-compute po kayo, magpasa po kayo ng application form para sa SSS LRP para malaman nyo po kung magkano na lang ang babayaran nyo. Pwede nyo bayaran in full payment, pwede ring installment. At yung computation niya is based kung gano nyo siya katagal babayaran. Pero ang maximum ay 5 years lang. Ang SSS Loan Restructuring Program ay available from April 28, 2016 hanggang April 27, 2017. And for more information or concerns regarding the SSS Loan Restructuring Program or LRP, you may contact SSS directly through the following contact info. So you can call them or you can email them or you can visit their website or you can visit the nearest SSS branch. I hope nakatulong kahit papano ang video na to at kung meron kayong mga questions or inquiries, pwede nyo rin pong i-post sa comment section below. And I would also appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel, Pinay Investor, and visit my blogs. Thank you and have a great day.